My favorite part is when he uses the movie lines, because not all of them are applicable, you know? Some of them fit, hasta la vista, Davis. I'll be back, where'd you go? It's not a tumor. You can't handle the truth. Hey, that's not even your movie. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> and what is the marriage about? Has anybody figured that out? <laughs> Jesus. What, the only thing I can think of, it's phase one in a genetic experiment to breed a bulletproof Kennedy. That's the only thing... <laughs> Have you seen her? She looks like Skeletor's great aunt. And poor Gray Davis, I still don't understand what he did. He said there was going to be a deficit. There was a deficit. Bush said there was going to be a surplus. There was a deficit. I guess Gray missed the part where you invade Oregon. They're harboring trees of mass destruction. And it was funny watching Gray, you know, because at the end there, he was trying everything. And his last ditch effort, he pulled out all the stops and brought in Al Gore. <laughs> if that's your big gun, honey, <laughs> you got to go back to the gun store. <laughs> I, I don't know what the rationale I think anybody who stands next to Al Gore looks like he's outlined in neon. That's the only thing that... <laughs> and Clinton showed up, and it just reminded me how much I miss Bill. Yeah. I mean, he was good. Whether you loved him or hated him, he was good. He was smoother than a baby's butt dipped in a polyurethane bath. He just... <laughs> and he ain't go nowhere. He's only 56. I don't know what he's going to do. If his wife would appoint him ambassador to Temptation Island, uh, <laughs> teach a college course in situational ethics. Did you see, he signed a book deal, he got $12 million for his book. Hillary already got eight for hers. We're talking $20 million for the memoirs of two people who for eight years continually testified under oath they couldn't remember a single fucking thing. <laughs> Do you love this country or what? I'll be honest, man, I think Bush needs an intern. I do. An X-rated video or something. The war is going according to plan. Well, then it's a really shitty plan. We had it go in Iraq because George Bush knows something nobody else does. So I guess we could rule out trigonometry. No, we went in. We went in because Saddam has weapons of mass destruction. How do you know? My dad sold them to him. <laughs> we got the invoice right here. <laughs> Just trying to sell him the extended warranty. <laughs> weapons of mass destruction. What a load of mucus crap. Everybody has weapons of mass destruction. That's all McDonald's makes is weapons of mass destruction. And poor North Korea can't get any respect. <laughs> hey, we got a bomb too. Shut up, we're not talking to you. <laughs> what? We're part of the axis of evil? You're just one of the hubcaps. <laughs> Besides, what's your delivery system? A musk ox? <laughs> no, we got a two-stage rocket that can hit California. California, really? <laughs> we should talk. <laughs> and they call it a coalition, but it's not a coalition. We all know that. I mean, it's 130,000 Americans, 200 Brits, and one Aussie to keep the beer cold, and that's about it. <laughs> Have you looked at the 22 countries that are part of the coalition? I think number 19 is the Raider Nation. And could, could the two figureheads, could Blair and Bush be any different? You listen to Blair. You actually want to, you know, kind of 
Go with it. We fervently believe and extremely confident that our contention that Saddam possesses voluminous amounts of weapons of mass destruction will eventually be borne out to a decidedly drastic degree. And then you hear Bush, bring it on! Either you're with us or you're against us. Who wants a piece of me? It's like good cop, drunk cowboy cop. And you don't hear anything about the weapons of mass destruction anymore. Have you noticed that? Bush actually said, that's not important. It's the liberation of the Iraqi people. Bullshit, it's the liberation of our oil, which somehow got stuck under their sand. <laughs> He's a bad man. That's all you hear from the administration. He's a bad man. Yeah, he's a bad man. There's a lot of bad men out there. George Steinbrenner's an asshole. Let's liberate the Yankees. <laughs> and I'm not saying he's a good guy. I mean, even Gaddafi. And hey, Gaddafi. Did you know, weapons of mass destruction? No, we don't have... Shit, yeah, we got some... Uh... <laughs> if we don't have them, we'll make them up. <laughs> we'll get them from Sudan. They got some. Gaddafi said that Saddam... Gaddafi said, listen, I'm crazy, but this guy. <laughs> Getting called crazy by Gaddafi, that's not good. <laughs> no, I looked it up. That's not good. That's, it's like getting called slimy by a sea slug or a loser by a Democrat. <laughs> oh, wrong crowd. I guess the sword cuts both ways. <laughs> oh, have you seen the lineup of the nine guys? Jesus, I doubt if any of them could escape from a stalled escalator. <laughs> escalator that's moving staircase. Elevator's the box on a string. You know why there's no Democrats on Star Trek? Because it's set in the future. I want Hillary to run. I do. Not because I think she'd win. Not because I think she'd do a good job if she did win. I just wanted her to run because she pisses the Republicans off so much. It's fun to watch. Isn't it? I mean, you, all you have to do is say her name and they go... Bur -bur 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 -bur. They start making cartoon noises. They twitch uncontrollably. Their eyes roll back. It's like a chemical reaction. Because they go too far. All you gotta do is mention her name, Hillary Clinton. This fucking bitch is not. <laughs> I mean, the honorable gentlewoman is unqualified for the position she seeks. I just wanted to run so I could see the trickle of blood coming out of Bill O'Reilly's ear every day. I know, I, know, I know Saddam was a bad guy, I know that, but Jesus Christ, I mean, what happened to the weapons of message? Remember that 45 minutes away, biological weapons, you know, and then, oh, you can't find them, you know. I think we found a used ice cream truck, and that was about it. <laughs> I mean, Saddam used poison gas on his own people. Who invades their own country? <laughs> I claim this part of Iraq for Iraq. Of course, you know where he got the poison gas from? Us. We sold it to him during the Iran-Iraq war. Yeah, we gave arms to Iraq, military intelligence to both Iraq and Iran. How did that work? Here, put this gun in your pocket. He's got a gun in his pocket. <laughs> he knows about the gun. And Saddam cheated, too. He used human shields. Ordinary citizens planted in front of military targets. Human shields! <laughs> and we complain about jury duty. <laughs> Can you imagine getting one of those in the middle? Oh, shit! <laughs> human shield. <laughs> Presidential palace. What about you, Hamid? I'm a mind finder.
The guy during the war that I really loved was uh, the Minister of Misinformation, Baghdad Bob, remember? <laughs> the Americans are nowhere near the city limits of Baghdad. Meanwhile, you could see the advancing troops in the reflection of his glasses. I kept waiting for the Verizon guy to show up. Can you hear me now? Good. Can you hear me now? Of course, that contract went to WorldCom. <laughs> and then on CNN, Christian Amapour reported that the residents of Baghdad were suffering from looting fatigue. And I just love that because I never heard those two words put together before. Looting fatigue. No, I cannot carry another television set. No. That 42-inch HD plasma, it broke my back. It really did. Give me the DVD. No, the Sony, not the Gold Star, you idiot. <laughs> Looting fatigue, a phenomenon first reported by Enron executives. <laughs> You're cheerers, not laughers. <laughs> I, I just... You know, I know it was uh, important to find Saddam and all that, you know, for Bush's poll ratings, but I, I, uh, I, if he was such an imperative target, how come when Dan Rather did his exclusive interview with him, how come he didn't take him out? <laughs> Dan, you're 85 years old, dude. Time to take one for the team.